So, um, so we gave um, Crestwood an opportunity as a church. Um, a couple weeks ago, we just said, okay, for the next week, we're going to take up an, uh, a special offering, and the Elijah House is a part of this to help furnish that new gym when it comes out. And so um, I have a gift on behalf of the congregation for you. Uh, and so there we go. That is awesome. <laughs> Dude, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> this oh is incredible. Thank so, you. So it's a gift for thirty thousand dollars that Crestwood you made it happen um, because we just give them the opportunity to give. We didn't tell anybody what to give. We didn't do any sit down meetings. I didn't do any of the things the professional fundraisers tell us to do. But I, they just said we have a heart for this place. That's incredible. It, this is the most generous gift we've gotten from a church for the capital campaign. Thank you so much. And and what's even more exciting is there's a foundation that um, is doubling dollar for dollar any gifts that we receive. Um, so this is this <laughs> is <laughs> six thousand dollars right here. Yeah. This is so encouraging. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm very grateful to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I reached out to Lauren about a month ago or so and just said, how's the care closet going? Yeah. Because I always like to check in and it just geared off my heart. And so I was asking, okay, what do you need for the care closet? And so she was listing some different things and there was an item on the list that broke my heart and it was shoelaces. Mm -hmm. And she said, yeah, we need shoelaces. And I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, tell me about shoelaces. Well, mm -hmm. kids, shoelaces break. And I was thinking about, so I have five kids at home and I was thinking about my own kids and by the time their shoelaces break, I know about their condition of their shoes. Yeah. I shared that with our congregation um, about three weeks ago and gave them one week. I said, one week, let's see if we could raise some money. And we had a dream. And our dream was, what if we could give 100 pairs of shoes wow. and 100 winter coats to Crestwood? So we gave the congregation one week, eight days to give, wow. from one Sunday to the next. And well, they caught on to my dream mm -hmm. bigger than I thought. And so we have the funds oh, already wow. in hand for 200 pairs of shoes. Oh my gosh. And 200 winter coats. Oh man. And we are working with a big... Now you're going to get me crying on the camera. And oh, it's so kind. And, oh and, and man. We, and we have a friend with a big box retailer. And if I mentioned uh -huh. their name, you would recognize their name. Okay. And we're going to try and leverage to see if we could even multiply that even wow. farther. Wow. I'm kind of blown away here. For the Crestwood family, this is where we began. Not in a building yeah. this nice, but th yeah. this is the brand new Crestwood Elementary, and Lindsay is the principal here and does a great job. I love her and her staff. Here's the thing that we can do that can just bless some of your students. Oh, yes. You can take what y'all are teaching and just maybe take it yep. the next step up. We've heard a little bit about what y'all are doing uh, there in Lithuania with Ukrainian refugees, and I wanted to hear more. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've got some vetted partners that are doing incredible work. I was in Poland in um, March with one of my other colleagues, and we visited our partners. Um, the one in Lithuania is a guy by the name of Pastor Saul. He is the pastor of City Church in Vilnius, Lithuania. He's got three church locations um, and is housing Ukrainian refugees. I know Saul personally, a delightful guy, all in for the gospel and the message of Christ. Can't go wrong with him. So his church in Vilnius, just the one location in Vilnius now, because he's got two other locations, is housing 40 orphans and 200 families. Wow. So what we do is uh, we wire transfer funds every Thursday, and he's one of the recipients. And, and that goes for food, that's going to go for medicine, television sets, washers and dryers, anything that you would need in order to survive in a very long time in basically, you know, those that kind of setting. And we have a group, so you know too, Matt, um, that is going over there uh, June 8th, um, a group of 13. And that's not going to be the only trip we make. We're going to be making these trips on a regular basis. What y'all are doing in Lithuania really hit us. Okay. And so, um, and so each year we do a special offering. I'm, I'm holding a check here in my hands for $75,000. Real. Wow. For y'all. Wow. wow. That's incredible. 
So, um, so that's just, awesome. Uh, so we, we just uh, we believe in what y'all are doing. We want y'all to be encouraged. We want for them to be encouraged and for and for just the resources to be there. So that is awesome. That is incredible news, Matt. Yeah. Um, well, I hope this is an encouragement to y'all and just pushes the ministry forward. So yeah, yeah, you are in an incredible uh, encouragement to us. So uh, thank you. Hey, Chris and family. I'm here with my friend Tiant. Tiant is on staff with Young Life Richmond City, which is the urban part of Young Life right here in our metropolitan area. And he's been a part of the mission for eight years. In about five weeks, we are taking about 20 to 25 students from the city, from John Marshall High School to Rock Bridge Camp. And we're looking forward to having an incredible time. And I'm excited because our kids get to have three meals a day. They get to be out of their normal environment, but most of all, they get to hear about Jesus. And so would you be praying for us and we need your support and your prayers and all of that as we prepare to go to Rock Bridge Camp in a couple of weeks. So let's be doing just that. And actually the Crestwood family has something for you. Oh, can I give you something? Yes, you can. <laughs> Here's something that can help out. Oh man. <laughs> you want to open that up? Oh, he, y'all, okay. So y'all gonna put me on the spotlight. Now. I'm gonna put you on the spotlight. <laughs> I'm that way. <laughs> This to help out with camperships. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't even know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Crestwood family, you did this over the past week. We asked you to give Here. towards oh. this. And so here's a check for $22,000. So that should pay Here. for everybody to go to camp. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> this will allow all of our students to be able to get to camp. Yeah. Say, I know it's coming, but can I have one? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris Wood. Thank you, Pastor Matt. Oh my. <laughs>